Hello people. Just a quick unboxing video here I'm going to do. For the last, well, last six months or so this year, this year more than anything, I've been suffering from getting a lot of foxes in the garden and the neighbours and quite a lot around this area and that. I think they must be, they must have had like a, a litter of cubs and that around this way and they I think they might be like living under the sheds over in the gardens over the back and that. Sometimes you can see like two or three foxes in the garden. They're not just at night, you used to see because they're nocturnal animals, you used to just see them in the garden like early morning or very late at night. But sometimes you'd look out in the garden there'd be one like sitting in the middle of the lawn, like two o'clock in the afternoon, like in the sunshine. All right, if it, if it has passed through there all right, but sometimes they like they might like, crap on the lawn or dig even like they dig holes in the lawn or dig holes in the soil sometimes, quite often. They, you can even bark me out there at night sometimes. So anyway, yeah, we've been suffering from this problem the last few months. And the neighbours as well, they get them in the garden as well. Like. And uh, I was in Lidl's the other day. I saw these solar powered animal repellers. You can like, stick it in the soil or in a flower pot or whatever, hang it on a fence. And it's one of these ultrasonic, gives out ultrasonic like, whistles to like, deter animals and that. And it's got a flashing light on it as well. Solar powered, so you don't have to keep like, putting batteries in all the time. Um, I'll just do a little little review of this one. Unboxing review. Right. Let's see what we've got in the box. Nine pounds ninety nine in Lidl's in the UK. All the bits out first. Main unit itself, which got got the solar back solar charging panel on the top there. Cover on the back with four screws to put the batteries in. That's the main unit. You've got it's got a PIR sensor on the front and act, activates it when an animal gets gets near it or walks past. And you've got little LED flashing lights as well. That they also help deter animals. You've got sensitivity control. Uh, on, if you could turn it up to maximum, that gives it like about an eight, eight metre range from the actual unit. And down minimum, I think that's around one metre. And you've got different frequencies on there, I'll explain those later on. And that's the actual like, little the little speaker, little sound that emits the whistles. Got, also got on the bottom, you've got a, a DC charging socket. 5 volt DC, 500 milliamps. Little charging socket underneath a little rubber plug there to keep the water out. Comes with a charging lead. We've got a standard USB 2 plug on one end and a little three millimeter jack plug on the other end. So you can you can charge that with say like a mobile phone charge or any USB charger from your computer or socket or whatever. You've got two. Little little posts you can either use either use one section of that or two little joining piece there that goes like that and that fits in that fits in there so you can like stick it in the ground like that or you it's just got a keyhole slot in the back there if you want to hang it on the wall or on the fence they supply a little little screw and a little wall plug with it but you can use your own. Use your own screw, whatever you can affix it to, like so. Got your three, three rechargeable AA batteries, 1.2 volts, 800 milliamp hours, nickel metal hydride. It does say on the instructions these come fully charged. So I'm just going to just going to check those with a meter just to just to. Uh, I say fully charged, so, so, so they should be nickel metal hydro, they, they should be reading about, about 1.2 volts, 1.3 volts. Making those 1.29, yeah. 1.29, yeah, they're basically all. 
They're all fully charged because they're reading about the best part of 1.3 volts. You've got four, four little screws on the back there. This battery compartment. You've got to make sure there's, there's a little rubber seal inside the battery compartment, a little gasket, so it keeps the water out when it's outside, like to see it in there. You've got to make sure it's seated in there nice and flat when you put the cover back on. So, put the batteries in. back on. Cover back on. Right, right so that's all fitted on, cover back on there. So on the front you've got sensitivity control I mentioned earlier on. You've got frequency, it's got off, which is when the unit is actually switched off. Charger when it's switched off, but it won't emit any sounds in. So got quite a detailed instruction book. I like the Lidl's, they always they always give you like a nice detailed instruction book. You've got four different four different programs basically. You've got program one, which is 13.5 kilohertz to 17.5 kilohertz against rodents like mice or rats. Program 2, a bit higher frequency, 15.5 to 19.5 kilohertz against dogs and foxes, which is what we're going to be trying. Program 3, 19.5 to 23.5 kilohertz against dogs, cats and birds. Program 4, flashing light. Program 5, all the programs are used. I can see that's a little, little table, all the different frequencies there. We'll try it. You might, you may, or you may. Well, depends on your age and how good your hearing is, and how good, how good the microphone, the video goes. Anyway, you might, you may, or may not be able to hear it when I turn it on to the lowest frequency. You know, like pulse, pulses. You get, get stops and starts like. I can hear that quite loud, it's quite a loud whistle that one, that's the lowest frequency. The ne next one up is like 19.5. Just about here that one. Then you obviously got like, the next next one which is which is like the 23 kilohertz one. Inaudible to humans, but animals and birds and probably can hear it like. And that's how it that's how it like deters them. Program four, you've got a flashing light. Doesn't whistle, but you've got a flashing light there. Program five, that's that's all that gives you the whistles and the flashing lights all together, like. And you can see, I don't, I don't know if you, I don't know if you can make out inside there. There's like a red, red LED that shows the batteries are fully charged. When it starts flashing, it means the batteries need charging when it starts flashing fast that means they're very low light and you might have to use in that's mainly in the winter you might have to charge it with a usb lead when you don't get much sunlight so we're going to try try this in the garden the next few days and i'll put posts in the comments if it's successful or not turn that off now okay people see you on the next one like and subscribe Cheers. See you later.